<laughs> uh, we were here at Keith's house with Penny Shuttle and uh, she sent us off around the house to um, observe the atmosphere through the process of osmosis and then we had to come back and write a poem about it. This is that poem. The only other thing you need to know about the poem is that the clock next door is called Charles and he's got a cracked face. Keith's house. The alphabet unravels into words. Charles, the clock, speaks in TikTok. Always the same speech about how time is blah 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 passing. His face half cracked. The sun has fun in the windows upstairs, throwing down a par parallelogram in an isosceles triangle, sculpted from light and time. This the same airspace that a nightingale song turned into words. An aeroplane passes through clouds, becoming Viking ships, then Birkenstock sandals, and then nothing, nothing at all except clouds. A delivery of loo rolls comes true. A chainsaw in a, uh, a garden away sings an ode to autumn. The man to fix the boiler is due today. This is the same grass where notes could fall at a poet's feet. A song sung to immortality, uh, if you were a Keats. But I am only me, passing through, touching the hem of his poetry, sharing the same space and place, but alas, a century or two apart. Oh. is my nightingale, so this is called Ode to a Nightingale. <laughs> and so you are my bell down, avec mercy. And I, the teenage boy of then, learning my first Keats, longing for the lines to come true, and that I too would be pillowed upon my fair love's ripening breast, to feel forever its soft fall and swell. And so, here you are at long last, all so deliciously Keatsing. <laughs> She had that, because she's an artist, she had a terrible habit of drawing me in the nude and stuff like that. I've never had a picture painted of me, in, and particularly not in the nude, so um, I could only draw her back with words. So while she's painting me in the nude, this is what I'm thinking. It's called Drawing You. <laughs> Family venue, eh? <laughs> it, it's cool, it's cool. Got a boy like that. First, draw a smile. Then, playing with the lines, transform them into laughter. Let the laughter escape the page and fly around the room. Let it alight on anything it wishes. Then delicately take a pair of sparkling eyes until they too sing with laughter. Sketch just the suggestion of the passion that is promised. Now put down the pen and continue no farther with the drawing. Kiss her for real. The drawing is complete. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. <laughs> I have a class of uh, munchkins. And they were at the very top of the school, hidden away. And they were terrified. And the new teacher came in. And I said, is this the class? Said, yes. And I said, oh, well, they didn't know what they had to do. And I said, I want to write a poem. And they said, no. <laughs> and this is the poem I, I wrote with them. It's called Catastrophe. <laughs> the cat peed in my dad's hat. My dad wasn't particularly pleased with that. He shouted, oi, no, oh, stop, cat, scat. The cat answered back, me? How? <laughs> Spit, hiss. My dad said, that's that. That cat has got to go. We said, no. The cat said, exactly. When you've got to go, you've got to go. <laughs> My dad said, it's either that cat or me. We still have the cat. <laughs> now that dad's gone. We still miss daddy sometimes, but mostly we laugh at the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>